Peace. हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंस्पायरिंग एपिसोड ऑफ विवेकानंद आंसर्स जी मैं हूं आपका दोस्त और होस्ट जयंत कृपलानी नाउ पिछले हफ्ते हमने देखा था द फिल्म थ्री इडियट्स जिसमें शर्मान जोशी हु प्लेड द रोल ऑफ एन इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट उसके इंटरव्यू वाला सीन के ऊपर चर्चा भी की थी हमने इस विषय में कि क्या आजकल के जमाने में सच्चाई की कोई कदर है और शुड वी बी ऑनेस्ट इन एवरी स्पियर ऑफ लाइफ अनडाउटेडली ये एक बहुत ही जरूरी और गंभीर मुद्दा है और आज की युवा पीढ़ी के लिए ताकि उन्हें एक बैलेंस्ड और पीसफुल सोसाइटी मिले आज हम इसी विषय की ओर गहराई में जाएंगे देखते हैं क्या हाथ आता है लेकिन उससे पहले मुझे परिचय कराने दीजिए उस युवा भारत से जो यहाँ मेरे साथ मौजूद हैं और इनके साथ ही मैं स्वागत करना चाहूँगा हमारे आदरणीय स्वामी जी बोधमायानंद जी हु इज़ द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द विवेकानंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्सेलेंस रामाकृष्ण मठ इन हैदराबाद स्वामी जी आई लाइक टू स्टार्ट विथ यू वुड यू लाइक टू इलेबोरेट ऑन दैट वॉट इज द ट्रूथ ट्रूथ इज आवर इनर कॉन्शियस ऑन इट्स लाइक एन एक्सिस ऑफ द अर्थ अराउंड विच एवरी मूव unless i am truthful unless we are truthful unless the family is truthful there is no peace there is no joy somewhere there will be volcanoes there will be earthquakes so truth is our inner conscience am i doing the right thing should i do the right thing will it help the society will it help me that kind of an urge a conviction is the real meaning of truth it another meaning given in sanskritam is dharma the code of conduct the righteousness over which the entire daily life revolves that is the truth so your dharma really is you if you follow your dharma like they did in the mahabharat yes, for example yes regardless of them ending up doing perhaps not the right things but that was their truth that, and they that, that was the done. situation at the time the truth has to be followed i see according to the role assigned by the master or by the teacher by as they have taken it in their own responsibility like the spine the vertebra yes. is the backbone of the body what you are saying is is that truth the, is the but backbone of the life truth is the backbone of, of our life that's a splendid analogy thank you so much for that well i hope you got that how important truth is and what sort of lives we can lead if we have the truth but where do we get this uh, concept of 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 not telling the truth from i'm not going to call them lies i'm going to say not telling the truth how many of you know this poem called johnny johnny you know it <laughs> But, hey there's nothing to laugh about there's, there's a lesson in this somewhere i promise you why don't you recite it for us johnny johnny yes papa huh? eating sugar no papa telling lies no papa open your mouth ha 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 <laughs> and of course papa sees the sugar in his mouth and of course he catches johnny lying how is it that a child picks up the concept of i won't again call it a lie i'll call it how does a child pick up a concept of non truth so very fast and i think to talk us through that uh, i'm going to invite mrs budhia jo ki ek mashhoor psychotherapist hai let's give her a very warm welcome mrs budhia aaiye would you like to take it अभी अभी हम सब ने जॉनी जॉनी वाली नर्सरी राइम को सुना एंड मे बी इट इज अ नर्सरी राइम वेर चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट एक्चुअली मीट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ लाइ वेर वी सी जॉनी टेलिंग लाइज टू इज फादर आफ्टर ईटिंग शुगर ना जैसे कि हम लोग आज ऑनेस्टी और ट्रूथफुलनेस के ऊपर चर्चा कर रहे हैं मेरा आपसे सवाल ये है कि झूठ बोलने के पीछे साइकोलॉजिकल कारण क्या है ऐसा क्या है जिससे लोगों को झूठ बोलने की प्रेरणा मिलती है we tell lies to protect ourselves to protect the consequences we might get to protect something that we don't want to see something our respectability we are doing some actions that are below our dignity but we want to you know preserve our self respect and last but not the least we want to even sometime we want to hum log dusron ka izzat bhi bachana chahte hain not to hurt others we have to tell a lie and that lie is the base of everything okay i am going to bear away from this how does a child pick up the uh, the essence of again i will not use the word lie the non truth how does he pick it up so quickly ek bacche mein agar jis din wo jhoot bolne lagta hai 
इसका मतलब ही है ही ही इज एन ए डिफरेंट आइडेंटिटी फ्रॉम हिज पेरेंट्स दैट मीन्स हीज इमोशनल एंड दिस इंटेलेक्चुअल डेवलपमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस अगर उसको इंटेलेक्चुअल इमोशनल डेवलपमेंट ही नहीं होगा ही विल नेवर बी अब वो जोनी जोनी में उसका झूठ पकड़ा गया बिकॉज ही इज वेरी इमेच्योर लायर उसका उतना विकास ही नहीं हुआ है ही इज अ टू ईयर मे बी फोर ईयर ओल्ड किड हु डजेंट हु नोज दैट आई आई कैन टेल अ लाई बट हु डजेंट नो हाउ टू टेल अ लाई सो अपने एनवायरमेंट में अपने एटमोसफेयर में सारे बच्चे झूठ बोलना सीखते हैं ये उनकी मतलब ब्रेन का डेवलपमेंट का एक बहुत बड़ा So, what is the difference then between a, a, an immature liar and and a mature liar? जैसे जैसे बच्चे बड़े होते हैं अगर बोला जाए छः साल का बच्चा आठ साल का बच्चा जैसे जैसे बड़े होते हैं उन लोग अपने इन्वायरमेंट में आज अगर दादी माँ ने कोई गिफ्ट दिया तो बच्चा अब बोलता है नहीं मुझे पसंद नहीं है मम्मी ने कुछ खाना बनाया मैंने कहा कि नो दिस इज नॉट दिस इज टेस्टलेस पर धीरे धीरे हम लोग ये उनको बच्चे को बताने लगते हैं दिस इज नॉट वेलकम to hmm. say such bitter truth to people who that is hurting others would you like to uh, take yeah, that up? here yeah. one important point is in the indian tradition of education so from childhood ho ya kisi college mein ho ya friends ke sath ho family mein ho what was the foundation which which our culture grew up which our boys and girls or students grew up satyam vada dharman chara speak the truth they never told anything about the lie they are speaking only about the sun speak the truth satyam vada dharman chara that was the convocation in the ancient upanishads which vekanda clearly mentioned we have to go back to the upanishads this modern system of education is confusing the people one lie goes to the another lie as she said to cover it up so it becomes a big mania in the society so what we see as uh, truth may not be the truth it is just a created image lot of lies become truth for a child So this is a child of today you're talking. Yes. How about telling us some instances of, say, Swami Vivekananda's childhood, where, you know, he he played with truth a little bit. Yes. Nut when, cut the nut cut, Swami Vivekananda. Yes. When, when Swami Ji was most notorious. Modern boys cannot make so much of noise or so much yes. of mischief as he did. But that was all so pure and so no deception, nothing. Yes. Just like when he had uh, a kind of things. his father had kept different kinds of things in his room for different people of different religions because they were coming from different backgrounds swami ji wanted to test he heard this for this community that is for that community but uh, swami said why the difference i will test why it is so hmm. well will this pipe taste different will that pipe taste different and when the father is not there he went on testing it hmm. he found no difference hmm. but why this diff- he wanted search for truth how so, old was he when this happened and then the father he was just about seven standard oh wow Huh. Just a young boy, and he, because father had told, but that does not mean I should accept. I will search for the truth. Why the difference? Then father says that is the social custom at the time because others will not appreciate if I use my tumbler. That is why at the social thing I made it. But internally you should consider that there is no difference between man and man. He gave him a beautiful education. So what I really like to explore at the moment. I mean, this is extremely interesting what you are saying. But if somebody else had lived this. Kind of life that Swami Vivekananda left, would we led? Would we uh, would we accepted? Would we glorify it as much as we do glorify Swami Vivekananda's life? I think it should be done. Yeah, they should be encouraged. They should be glorified, or not to, not to get awards or things like that. But life itself is so valuable, and he has live that young boy is leading a wonderful life. He is finding the truth for himself. Let's 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 make a pledge. Let's try and not tell a lie. from the next second onwards and how does you how do you connect truth with this absolutely marvelous uh, i i won't say slogan but i'll call it a way of life uh, truth and be in make yeah first you have to follow practice participate with yourself in speaking the truth day in and day out from the time you sleep and you decide yes that is the tapas sri ramakrishna says for this yoga do not give up self learning and do not give up this sharing be and make first be gods help others to become gods just don't go on giving bhashan outside when you are leading a, a negative life so be the why swami vivekananda accepted sri ram krishna because he saw the combination of this sri ram krishna walked the talk there was nothing else other than truth in him 
Narendra Sait as a college student, going all the way from Calcutta to Dakshineshwar, sometime by walk, sometime this, he saw the master speaking what he really meant. For one small example, when Sri Ramakrishna said there will be a flower plant with two kinds of two colors of flowers, nobody could accept it. But next day morning, that was the truth. And similarly, when Sri Ramakrishna said, I have no ego, what did you do for your ego? He cleaned the latrines of the paraya in Dakshineshwar temple garden. A scavenger's latrine Sri Ramakrishna cleaned, Vivekananda goes into ecstasy and says, What a master. He gave up his ego, gave up the all the fancies and everything that we really associate with a great man. Nothing was there, he was just doing ordinary work. So Vivekananda got the great lessons and today we are finding the answers in him. He got the answers from his master and we are finding the answers in Swami Vivekananda. I think this is a great point at which we should all uh, I think uh, first build yourself and then help to make others. I think we should we should all sort of promise ourselves that this is what we are going to do in the immediate future, not in the distant future, but I think we can all change our lives by taking a vow that we are going to do this. I think that's an absolutely, and I think this is a perfect place to end this program. And with that, we all say goodbye. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you, Mrs. Budhya. Thank you, all of you, for being here. And we'll see you again next week at the same time, same place in Vivekananda Answers. Be and make. सच करके दिखाना है सच करके दिखाना है सपनों को सच करके दिखाना है अपनी सोच ये सच्चा और सरल हो आज का कोशिश पे सुन आखरा कल हो कल हो अपनी अंदर ही है सारी शक्ति Body on the